one of the coolest stores around, right? I love the store. You get so many ideas here, and you can see all kinds of furniture and accessories and lots of great artwork. Yeah, we've got some behind us, and right. uh, I know for a lot of your clients, you do place a lot of artwork, so mm -hmm. what are some suggestions for that? Well, you know, there is not really one rule for selecting art or even the size of the art for a certain place. Behind us, you know, you can see that this one picture has been placed. And you can always use one picture, you can use three pictures, uh, you can use a pair of, there's, mm -hmm. there's really no particular rule, Joni, but you know, if you, if you wanna look at some examples, I mean, to take a piece of one art and put it behind a sofa is really great. But again, you know, you can do like in this particular mm -hmm. photograph, there are three of them. There's a triptych there. So that's kind of cool to do. Yeah, you know? but I love the fact that it's really popping out the colors of the furniture. Mm -hmm. And then in many cases, you can take a pair of pictures and separate them greatly. Mm -hmm. You know, you can put a big space in between them so they don't have to be hanging right over the sofa or the sectional. And then there's always the, you know, the bedroom. People mm -hmm. say, what can I put over my bed? Well, a pair of things is really nice, okay? Or one skinny, wide thing that is more skinny is nice. Um, and then you've got the fireplace dilemma. Usually over a fireplace, mm -hmm. one picture is better than than several. Mm, too many. But, yeah, but you know, the really neat thing to do is to move around your artwork. What you have, like behind me right here, the sofa, could always be taken in and hung in a dining room. And you can take... Yeah, I like that. Just kind of, You can rotate things around. Just, you, and just because it's in the bedroom doesn't mean it you know, couldn't go into another room. to be room. in the bedroom. I think, you know, to really freshen up your spaces in your home and get a really good uh, change or a mood for, for what you mm -hmm. have done, it's really cool, like you say, rotate it. Yeah, I like, it I like what you're room. saying, change it up. Right, and you know, you can add a new piece in once in a while and still change it up a little bit more. So, you know, then the other thing is color. Mm -hmm. I think artwork can be uh, really what you like, but as a designer and like most of us, we do like artwork to match the room. Speaking of artwork, yes. speaking of color, yes. is this a Barry Lance original. This would be a Barry Lance original. Ah, uh, and these colors are, yeah. are gorgeous because yeah. I could see this in a dining room, mm. in a family room, in a kitchen. And don't forget the bathroom. Bathrooms are really great to have artwork yeah. into. And you commission these pieces, right? I do. So, so if someone says I want pink and blue, uh, I'll do pink and blue. Ah, uh, his, his yeah. paintings are gorgeous. And of course, you are at the Indiana Design Center. That's right. You can always go to stylewithbarryandjoni.com and check it out. Um, and I think this would look really nice in my kitchen. What do you well, think? You'll have to grab that for my daughter because that's hers and one of her <laughs> favorites. But I'll paint you one just for you. Okay, we, we can wheel and deal that, right?